In this video, I'm going to give you a preview of my version two of my fully faceless video generator. You might have seen my previous faceless videos on YouTube where I showed you how to build these fully automated faceless videos with voiceover. In 2018, the project was officially canceled. Or these stunning videos made with Midjourney and Luma Labs. Today, I'm going to show you a preview of version two, which focuses on these four main pillars an improved story structure that allows us to build higher quality faceless videos and the ability to better customize the system with your own automations and AI models. We're also releasing some tools that will help us reduce the cost of these videos at scale. And I'm also focused on making it super easy to install and use. So let's talk about the structure of stories in the system. We do have at the top level, a story, which is the main container for the project. Inside the stories, we have different scenes that you can define and then for each scene, you can have multiple shots. And I'm building this out in Airtable just like I did the previous system. And across the top here, you can see the shots. This is gonna show you all the shots that you have in each scene. And then it groups all the shots together with the scene. And so here I was playing around with a faceless videos related to The Simpsons. We've got Bart and Lisa in the house in one scene. And then we've got another scene at the nuclear power plant with Mr. Burns. So again, this is where we manage all of the shots and the AI images and the AI videos. And then we can also control control the scenes. So here we have the two scenes in this story, and then we can control the story as well. We can outline all the different stories we're working on. We can set the active story. So if I go ahead and click this checkbox here, the LA story will become the active story. The other checkbox will disappear. And then if we come back to the scenes, now we're working with the LA story and those scenes and all of the different shots related to that story or movie. And then for every story, you can define a story type and it's over here in story types. I'll actually fix that here where we can define all of the different types of stories, the width of that project, the aspect ratio. We can also go here to prompting so that we can define how the story will be scripted and how the videos will be generated. So we can also control the approval process as well for each different story type. So one story type can define whether we should auto approve the shots or scenes or the stories as they are generated using the various AI models. So in one of your story types, you could completely automate the entire process so that once the shots and the scenes are generated, they're automatically merged together to produce a final story. Or in other story types, you can define it so that you have to manually approve every single shot, scene, and the story. And you can also define whether the automations to generate images or to generate videos should automatically run once the prompt has been generated. So you can select to have these run manually or automatically. So for each different story type, you can customize the prompt and how the story is actually generated. You can control whether we approve the shot scenes and story and whether we should run all of the automations to generate images and videos without looking at the prompt first. So with this new improved story structure, we can completely 100% automate a video or by hand, we can build out the story shot by shot or we can have some mixture in between. And again, it's very easy to select an active project that you are currently working on so that when you're in the scenes and shots, you only see that story. Now we've also added a lot of customization. And one of the biggest things that we added was the ability to hot swap AI models for image, video, and audio and music generation. So here you can see in the first version of the faceless video generator, we were using Leonardo to generate the images and the videos, which was fine. But a lot of people came in and they wanted to swap these out for something else like mid journey, some people were using ChatGPT, and now a lot of people want to use Flux. So with this system, you can define your own custom actions. We can add on our own automations for generating voiceovers or generating images via Flux or generating videos via Kling or Luma Labs or being able to generate images with Midjourney. So from within our story types and in our actions, for each story type, we can define the AI model that we want to use for image generation. So for the dark fantasy faceless videos, we can come in here and we can use mid journey, but maybe for these faceless YouTube videos, we want to use flux, or maybe you want to use Leonardo. If you use Leonardo, you can come in here and just add that to the actions list. You can build the automation and add in the webhook. And then for that story type, you can come in and just select the proper AI model. And if you're using a model that doesn't have an API, you can select manual. And then the system knows that you'll be manually uploading an image. And the same goes for audio as well. From here, we can select all of the audio platforms that we're using for generating a voiceover or for generating music. And again, the same for video. We can select, are we going to use Luma Labs or are we going to use Kling? Or is there some other video generator that we want to add to our actions? I really already mentioned this in the story structure. In every story type, you'll be able to add your own prompt to affect the output of the scripting and the images and videos that come out of any given story type. You can also add your own B-roll now using the new file system. So this new system keeps track of every file that is generated by the system, or even if you upload your own video into the system. Notice if I come to the 
files, that video was just added here. So as you generate all these videos, we'll be able to keep all these files for later use. And like you saw, we can add our own B-roll and then you can go to any shot and you can use B-roll or upload audio or music. And then you can keep track of all these files here. So not all of the video and audio that you use has to be AI generated. And you can even analyze the content that you do upload so that you can use the analysis or description of what's happening in a video to influence a prompt that will generate a new video. So you'll also be able to define consistent characters and scenes for your images and videos. And for each shot, you'll be able to control the camera angle and the camera motion. Now this next section here is really exciting in the version two of the faceless generator. One of the biggest complaints we had was running this automation was very expensive. We're generating a lot of images. We're generating a lot of videos. We're combining a lot of videos into one video. We're generating voiceovers. We're combining the voiceovers onto videos. And then we're finally putting captions on videos. And all of these different actions are using different APIs with different pricing. But the whole point of a system like this is to be able to generate these videos at scale. And this was just getting very expensive. So that's why in this new version, we're gonna fully integrate with the No-Code Architects Toolkit. And what this toolkit does is it gives us nearly free access to tools that will do a lot of the things we need to do in order to create these videos. So to illustrate in this automation here, we were combining videos videos that were created in the previous step here. And we're using a great tool called JSON to video to do that. But when we're merging tons of videos together and then merging that voiceover onto the video, the costs just really start to add up. So we just did an inventory of all of the tools that we needed and came up with our own solution. So again, in order to achieve this, we just reviewed all of the automations we were using a lot that were costing a lot. So we wrote all the code to handle those functions instead of having to pay for them. We made it easy to download and launch so you have your own server. And now from make.com, you can make these API calls to get a lot of this common work done at a fraction of the cost. And then it just sends you the response. And so we'll be able to go into these automations and simply add in our own module, the No Code Architects Toolkit that you see here. And if we want to combine videos, instead of using a more expensive service, we can use our own API. We can add in the URLs just like that. And then we can merge as many videos as we want at a fraction of the cost. And again, we can do this with overlaying voiceovers on videos, combining videos, turning images into videos, burning captions onto videos. There's really no limit to what we can build here. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It tells me what type of content you want more of. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is how we're going to make it easy to install. So this last system that we built was pretty complex. And when you did the install, you pretty much had to go around to every module and test it and run it and make sure each piece worked section by section. If you're a part of the No Code Architects, which is a growing community of no code experts, where you can get access to a Make and Airtable course and a bunch of other cool automation templates, I'm gonna make it very easy to install this system so you don't have to painstakingly go through every single module and configure it and test it. You'll be able to download the Airtable template and make.com blueprints that are already customized and configured specifically for your Airtable instance, which should make the process of installing this way easier. So if an easy installation sounds cool to you, make sure to jump into the No Code Architects community. There's a link in the description below. And if you don't join the community, I'm still gonna build out this entire system from scratch here on YouTube. Really looking forward to this new version of the Faceless Video Generator. I'll see you in the next video.